the role of leadership is one called high intensity on personal development, on language, on vocabulary, on skills, on compassion, on strength, and power, vigor. However, here's the refinement of leadership. Make this list. This is a good one. Leaders must be strong but not rude. Some people mistake rudeness for strength. We don't need rudeness, but we do need strength. Next, be kind but not weak. Some people mistake weakness for kindness. Nothing could be further from the truth. We don't need weakness, but we do need kindness. Kindness is not offering to carry somebody the rest of their life, but to show him how to develop the leg muscle so they can walk the rest of their life and stay with them till they learn it. That's kindness. Next, we must be thoughtful but not lazy. It is important to dream, as we found out earlier, but you don't want to be just a dreamer. You must use dreams as the incentive to become the person, to develop the skills, to pull them off someday, check it off your list, walk the high road. Next, leaders must learn to be bold but not a bully. Bold enough to seize the day, bold enough to seize the moment, seize the occasion, seize the opportunity. But we don't need anybody to throw their weight around. Serves no useful purpose. We don't need to bully people into compliance. Congress doesn't need to be a bully. It needs to be thoughtful, constructive, generous, but practical. Next, learn to be humble but not timid. Some people mistake timidity for humility. But here's the truth. Timidity is a disease. It's a malady. It can be cured or it can be driven into such a small corner it doesn't dominate your life anymore, but you do have to work at it. One of the richest friends I got, I'm telling you, he was timid and shy. Now he's driven it into such a small corner. He's a mega millionaire. Humility we all need because humility is a virtue. Timidity is a malady, but humility is the virtue. Next, be proud but not arrogant. This is the course in leadership everybody needs. Yes, school pride. Yes, community pride. Yes, family pride. Yes, team pride. Yes, personal pride, but not arrogance. Do you know the worst kind of arrogance? Arrogance from ignorance. That's the worst kind. If a guy's smart and arrogant, you can handle that. But if a guy's dumb and arrogant, I mean, that's too much. But we don't need arrogance. No matter how accomplished you become, resist the temptation to be arrogant. Resist the temptation to be lofty. Real life is among the people. Real life is in human experiences. Walk off into your ivory tower, you'll resent the rest of your life no matter how rich and mega accomplished you become. Resist all temptation to be arrogant. Here's the last one. Humor without folly. It's okay to be witty, but not silly. And only sophisticated people know the difference.